What's up guys, this is iTweets here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the top five tweaks of February, 2015. So the first thing that you're gonna notice here is my doc. And this is a tweak called Harbor. Now what Harbor's gonna do is give you that Yosemite style doc. And you'll notice that when applications are running in the background, that they're going to bounce. And you can set the custom bounce intervals. I have it set to every two seconds. So you'll notice these are gonna bounce every two seconds. Now another cool thing about this is you can actually swipe your finger across and it's going to give you that wave like gesture that you can get on uh, Yosemite. And you'll also notice that we have just the names of those applications right above the application itself. And you can obviously turn that off if you want to. So let's just say we wanted to open up Tweetbot and you can see it opens right up. You'll also notice right down here that the apps actually bounce over the application running. So just keep that in mind. Now right here, if we go into the settings and let's go down here to Harbor and open that up. And you'll notice you have a kill switch right up there at the top. You also have animation duration, which you can slide up and down to either lengthen or shorten the animation. You also have dock margin. So if you wanna change the margin of the dock, then you would just slide that up, slide it down, however you like to do it, as well as wave height. So if you wanna get it really high, then you can do that as well as wave width. You can manipulate that as well. So just to quickly show you, you can see that we've changed up the look of the dock a little bit and you'll notice that the wave is quite a bit bigger as well as quite a bit uh, in width, quite a bit larger in width. So let's go ahead and open up the settings app right here. And then right here we have our bounce options. So you can set this to every two seconds, bounce in running apps, also bounce on the lock screen if you want that. You can flush with the bottom edge, so place the dock flush with the bottom of the screen. So you can just toggle that on right there. And then right here you also have the show app name indicator, which I'm not actually a big fan of. That was the name above the icons as you slide your finger across. You can also show the app state dot. So just like on uh, OS X, you would have just a dot right underneath. So you can see Tweetbot has a black dot as well as Safari right there is a black dot right under the icon. So you can toggle that on or off. And you can also use the normal dock background if you want to do that instead of just the clear background that I have right here. Next up, we have a tweet called Anchor. And what Anchor does is basically replace the tweak called Gridlock. So if you guys aren't familiar with Gridlock that we've all known and loved for quite some time, it basically allows you to take an icon out of anywhere on the screen and put it wherever you want to on the screen, and it's not going to fill that position. So to make a little more sense of that, if I wanted to move the Stocks app, you can see that I just get in wiggle mode, drop it, and then hit the home button, and we still have that blank space right there. So that's what Anchor does. You can basically move these around however you'd like and leave blank spaces wherever you want. And next up, we have a free tweak called On Tap Music. Now this tweak is actually still in beta, but what it allows you to do is put the music controls right there within the reachability view. Now you do have to be within an application in order to invoke this. So if we invoke reachability, you can see that we have this Eminem song playing, we have the title, we also have the album artwork right there, and then the blurred larger album artwork right there in the background that you can see right there. So if you wanted to actually go to the next song, you would just swipe to the left, just like that, and then it's gonna go to the next song. So you can see that if we go back or left, you can see how that works. So that's really all that it does. Uh, it is actually pretty cool, but again, it's in beta, so you might run into some bugs, so just keep that in mind. Next, we have a tweet called Akamar UI. I think that's how you pronounce it, but basically it's another Apple Watch UI tweak. Now you can see right here, if we go into our settings and let's go back to that settings panel right there and we're going to enable it. So right here, you just turn it on. You also have fast focus, which basically allows you to hit the home button and go directly to your most used app. Now I believe it's supposed to cycle through, you know, your most used app to your second most used app, but that hasn't been working for me. It literally just goes to one uh, application and then that's all that it does. You also have this icon right here that arranges icons by looks and I'll show you what that does here in just a second. But if we go back to the home screen, you can see that it immediately takes effect. You don't have to respring or anything like that. And of course, if we tap on blank space, it's going to show us all the icons. And if we tap again, it's going to zoom in. So it's really cool. I think it looks really nice. You can pinch and zoom just like you can in the other Apple Watch UI tweaks. Now, one of the cool things is, is if you hit the home button, then it's gonna go and zoom in on the most used app. Now, I believe it's supposed to go to the next used app if I hit it again, but it's not doing that. It's only staying on the settings app right here, which I guess is the one that I use the most. Now, we also have a toggle here that allows you to arrange icons by looks, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna to toggle that on, 
and then we're going to go back and then you can see that we're actually arranged by blue then green then yellow it's basically how it's set up so let's just hit the blank space and you can see that it's kind of like a rainbow of icons right here which is pretty nice and this would be a really nice way to keep everything a little bit more organized that way you know kind of where the application is that you're looking for especially if it's color coded and you know the color of that app so Akamar UI is the new Apple Watch UI look and I think it's pretty cool so if you want to check out another tweak like this then definitely give it a shot and last but not least we have a tweak called app button now you probably noticed this button right over here that's docked to the left side of my screen uh, throughout this video and what it does is allow you to quickly and easily go to a different application so you can see if we just start to swipe across you'll notice all the applications that are running in the background that I can go to just by releasing my finger on them so if we just let go right there then it goes directly to tweetbot if I swipe back over here we can go into settings it's very quick very easy and you can see exactly how that works so really what this tweet does if you swipe all the way down you can see this is going to scroll through all the applications and then you can just always go back if you want to and go to the specific app that you want to go into so this is really cool also if we uh, let's just say we open up the settings app we were in the clock app so if we tap the button then it's going to go back to the clock app and if we tap it again it's going to go back to the settings so basically just tapping on it you can go between two applications very quickly so right here if we scroll down and we tap on app button you'll notice that we have a couple of settings panels here so we have favorite apps you can see right there so you can set up your favorite apps right here now the way to access these after adding them just by tapping on them right here so we'll add Amazon right there and if we want to take it down of course you just drag it but if you want to access these favorite apps all you have to do is swipe up instead of down and this is going to take you to your favorite app so you can see Amazon right there the App Store the calculator as well as reddit so if we go all the way up you'll notice that little arrow so if we let go then it's going to go back and it's not going to open up any apps but if we just go directly to you know the calculator right here then it opens right up again all the way up and it just closes so pretty cool so now we're just gonna tap on it to go back to the uh, settings panel and then we right here we have look and feel so you can change this to a black button if you want to do that and you can see that it kind of changes the color right there and then if we want to change it to a black tray then that's gonna change the color of the tray rather than white it's gonna be black and then right down here you can change the transparency applied to the resting button as you can see how that works right there as well as the transparency in the active button so you can see the transparency changing right there right down here you can also enable a border so if you want to do that then just toggle that on or off as well as the blur and the highlight chosen app so if we leave this toggled off then all of them are going to be highlighted as you can see right there but for usability issues I would just say keep it like this that way you know what application you're opening up because it's highlighted so that is app button and that concludes the top five tweaks of February 2015 let me know what you guys think about these awesome tweaks in the comments below and of course if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple make sure you subscribe all right guys until next time peace